Is that Chris? This is why I always tell people, bro, never judge an individual if you don't know what they're going through, bro. If you ever saw this dude on TikTok, you know, like I know, within the last two years, something has just oddly been off by him. And you could tell that something was going on. But now that this happened, just really confirm everything I thought. But this is crazy, bro, because, man, it's obviously more than we think. And it's deeper than what everybody else know, bro. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bro. It's Lucas J here, y'all. Back with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and a very interesting video to talk about. Now, this video has been trending all over social media. It's kind of different from what I always do, but man, this uh, viral or this famous TikToker that goes by the name of Mr. Prada name has been trending all over social media after he's the person of interest of an M. And he's allegedly a person of interest after underlying his mental health therapist. And people are saying that they saw the signs early, but it's more to the story that we don't know about. Now, we're going to talk about it and we're going to dive into it, but real quick, but y'all know my routine. Hit that like button, you feel me? And also comment, tap in if you tap in down below and smash that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a video in general. Now, as I said, bro, uh, we got a guy that goes by the name of Mr. Prada on TikTok, has been trending all over social media after pretty much he's allegedly a person of interest after allegedly unaliving his mental health therapist and um, allegedly bearing him in a ditch, taking him off with a car and crashing. And right now, he's on the run. Office is asking for your help right now, trying to identify. Investigators say it's a person in the death of a Baton Rouge therapist, Dr. Nick Abraham. Now, the sheriff's office believes this man was driving Abraham's car when he uh, sped away from traffic, a uh, traffic stop, and, and crashed, and then later ran off. Dr. Abraham's body was found Sunday morning, if you recall, in a ditch outside of the village uh, of Tanchbahoa. Investigators say they believe the therapist was killed Saturday evening and his body was dumped overnight. Now, the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office, the Tanchebo Parish Sheriff's Office, the Baton Rouge Police Department, they're all working together on this case. At this point, we don't know a, a motive. We know this uh, was a very violent attack, and we don't know if it was, you know, one suspect or multiple. Sheriff Sticker, they're saying no murder weapons have been found yet. Call Crime Stoppers at 344-STOP if you have any information that can help investigators as they work to piece this together. Now, if y'all are unaware of who this guy is, he goes by the name of Mr. Prada on TikTok. Uh, I think he was started posting like back in 2021, but he went viral like in 2022. You know, I, it wasn't nobody. I was just always watching, but I remember seeing him on my For You page all the time. But um, it seems like, you know, things start taking a drastic turn. Now, you could tell from when he first started posting to lately what he's been posting and reposting, you could tell that something mentally was just was not right with him because he just started cutting his hair bald and just started doing a lot of odd things. And I just thought like, we're going through something, you feel me? But like, I never knew it would get to this far. Now, the article reads, The Tangibahoa Parish Sheriff's Office on Monday night, September 3rd, distributed a picture of a person of interest sought for questioning in connection to the discovery of a Baton Rouge therapist's body found in a tarp and dumped in the ditch over the weekend. The agency said it's detectable the picture individual captured by a store surveillance camera is the last person known to have been driving the vehicle belonging to the 69-year-old homicide victim. Identified earlier Monday as William Nichols Abraham. The TPSO said Abraham's vehicle was spotted Monday afternoon by Baton Rouge police who attempted a traffic stop, but the driver of the vehicle sped away and immediately escaped on feet after crashing the car, authorities said. Just before 8 a.m. Sunday, a passerby reported a suspicious rolled up tarp on the side of the Highway 51 between Flucker and the village of Tenjipahoa. Deputies discovered the body of Abraham inside the tarp. Victim Nick Abraham was a well-known Baton Rouge-based mental health therapist. The coroner office determined his cause of death to be blunt force trauma and ruled it a homicide. Sheriff Gerald Sticker said the trauma was to Abraham's head, neck, and shoulders. It was very physical, very violent death, Sticker said. A search for the victim home in East Baton Rouge, Paris, found no indication that any crime had been committed there, investigators said. Investigators said the victim's car was initially missing, but it was located in the Baton Rouge area Monday afternoon. The East Baton Rouge Sheriff Office is assisting and pretty much they're asking anybody to know any information, tap in and contact them. Now, which is crazy is like I said, bro, if you can look at the pictures of him, you can tell that, you know, some look odd about him. Now, he got caught on camera and they're saying that, you know, this dude was pretty much beaten. You know, it's a blunt uh, trauma for it. So I don't know what he got hit with because they can't find no type of 
weapon or nothing but it seems like the last person that was in his car was him now it's crazy because like i said uh if you watch tiktok or know of this guy like i said you could just tell that something was just oddly off of him and you could tell that he was probably going through something mentally but hey he never said nothing do anything drastic unless you want to look like this they Every time I leave the house, these <laughs> in my face. Giving an update on my life becoming a nightmare. And this is why I say, bro, you always want to check on people. And before you judge them, like, oh, they weird. Because that was my first reaction. Like, this dude weird. What's wrong, bro? But come to find out, I think I'm like, actually, let me not say that because I don't know where his mental health at. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know where bro may take it. You feel me? And, you know, it's wild because the dude was young. He was born in 2000. And let me make sure. Let me fact check this again. He's like, it's a younger guy. You feel what I'm saying? He was born in... 2000 and 2004 you feel what i'm saying so he must be 20 years old so you know um there is no telling what happened they're not saying why he did it because i don't think a person would do that for no reason but when you're dealing with mental stuff bro you never know what a person going through now one thing that caught my interest was the guy that lost his life rest in peace somebody found an article from back in 2015 and as you see it says baton rouge therapist accused of an 11 year old boy during his counseling session so People are trying to allege that that's what happened. That's who did it. I don't know what was the reason behind it, but I will say, man, prayers to this man. You know, uh, prayers for his mental and also for guys that's out here um, that's going through stuff. Bro, start speaking out because obviously with this dude, it was signs and other YouTube videos, which caught me off guard this video right here. But people just think people be talking to talk, but the whole time they be crying out for help, bro. I'll just say I've, I've never... I've never met anybody that was more crazy than me. So, um, people probably these days they be playing like they got issues. I really got issues. Um. Now, one thing about it, you know, you can't help somebody that don't want to be helped, you know, but it's same time, bro. Like, check on your friends, even the ones that be strong and all that. People think, you know, because you got these big old followings and big old platforms, everything good. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This week has been one of the toughest weeks of my life in a while, and I ain't going that extreme with it, but y'all know the Hurricane Helene jump hit, bro. A lot of power been off. No stores have been open. Everything's trying to get open now, but traffic been bad, bro. Family been all over my crib, which I'm cool with. I'm going through a breakup, just the, the just the worries of life, just what I'm going to be within the next five years. You feel me? There's a lot be going on in my head, you feel me? But I know how to deal with it. You know, I, I sometimes put my phone down a little bit, you know, read my Bible. I pray a little bit. I read a little bit. Sometimes you got to just find hobbies to, you know, not stretch yourself out. And one thing I've noticed, bro, in this lifetime, and I know this is kind of off topic, but overthinking, stress, and doubt are silent killers, bro. I'm telling you. That does more damage than anything. You feel what I'm saying? You got to just know, bro. Everything is in God's hand. You can't be worrying, bro. You know? Um, but I'm really hoping that dude, they find him and see if he actually did it. But that he get the help that he actually need. Because regardless, bro, that man a human at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? He's not no evil person. He's just somebody that probably needs somebody to talk to. And every now and then, people just need somebody to talk to. So if you a person that's going through something mentally, whatever it is, female or male, no weird intentions. You could DM me, bro. I'm an honest person. I'm an open book. Take away who I am as a person, like my job. I'm a real person behind camera. You feel me? So, you know, like, if you're going through something, let me know because life is serious. You feel me? But let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And let me know how y'all feel about it, bro. Y'all already know who it is. It's Looks at Jay. Thank God for another day. May y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more. And I ever will. And yeah, bro. I'm out, man.